Welcome back to Classic Replay. Now, if you've got a new game that you've released for the Amstrad CPC and you want me to feature it in an upcoming video, just give me a shout. Right then, it doesn't get much better than this. New games for your Amstrad CPC. Thanks to Indie Retro News and CPC Game Reviews, I've scoured their databanks and come up with 10 lovely games for my wonderful Classic Replay followers. There are some that say new games are a bit like a new girlfriend. You can't wait to get them home. Oh boy. Jack's the dog. Number 10, Jack's the dog. Grrr. Woof, woof. What a jolly little game. Now don't hog this one to yourself. This is definitely one for all the family. It's really simple, collect all the bones, but not dem bones. And with any luck, make it home. It scored 77% in Retro Gamer magazine. So Kappasoft can be really proud of this one. 18 stages of collecting bones. It's a dog's life. Number nine, Darkula. This one reminds me a little bit like Bruce Lee, and it does feel like an early 80s game. I was surprised to see that CPC Game Reviews only gave it 70%. Now Darkula has returned to bring darkness back to the night. His dream is to skip the light fantastic and run wild under the moonlight. You achieve this by removing all the light bulbs. Only then can Darkula truly bask like it's close to midnight. Number 8, Mandarin 2. Every woman should marry a retro gamer because the older she gets, the more he'll love her. <laughs> anyway, back to this terrific game, which is strangely familiar. Let me know your thoughts because I think this might be inspired by Dan Dare 2. Terrific game that. The programmers have managed to cram in five levels and on stage four, outer space, you get to take down enemy star forces. Number seven, Gates to Heaven. What a terrific little arcade adventure. And the music is some of the best I've heard on the Amstrad CPC which I like a retro montage of all the classic movies and games. I mean, look at that, there's a tiny little Robocop. Ah, oh, it'd be great to see a new Robocop game. Maybe there's a cheat or an Easter egg where you can unlock Robocop and play him instead. Or maybe the developers are giving us a sneak preview as to what's to come. Do 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 do, do 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 do. Number six, Trasmos. Now I found this one really difficult, extremely difficult, but perseverance, lots of practice, sees you through. And they've completed this in 64K. Nowadays, 64K is like trying to fit the entire internet into a postage stamp. Anyway, there's zombies in this game and they're out to eat your 8-bit brain. This is bite-sized fun. Happy gaming, for me, an Amstrad classic. Number five, Ramiro. You are a vampire and you've got to collect four pieces of a scroll. Find those pieces and you become He-Man, the most powerful man. Well, you know, something like that. The graphics are fantastic. Sprites look good, animation is smooth. But more importantly, it's finished in the beautiful, lovely Mode Zero. I think this is the best game from the Mojon Twins to date. Number four, Alloy Box. You are John Rambo. You've got to storm in, smash the enemy, and steam out. It's massively difficult, just how we love it. Now this is supposed to be a stealth game, but just like Rambo, I'm terrible at staying undercover. I'm good at shouting, I'm your worst nightmare, before sending the whole place up in flames. And it definitely doesn't need brains, but bags of brawn. What do you mean it's not a Rambo game?
Number three, Sugar City. I can't believe they've crammed this into 64K. Yes, it's a bit jerky. Sometimes the sprites flicker, but Jesus Christ on a bike. It's GTA on an Amstrad. Better still, on a computer that can't scroll. Well, that's according to my mate Tom, who owned a Specky. Dry your eyes, Specky boys. You've still got travel through time. Today, I'm proud to own an Amstrad. Number two, Penguin Attack. Now I know this was released in 2022, but it's one I haven't covered before. It completely passed me by. It looks simple, it's very colorful, and it's quite tricky to master. Two reasons I really like this game. The first is without penguins, we wouldn't have Guinness. The second is that they've crammed 21 levels into this game, and it's all highly playable stuff. I think these are the same guys that did Shovel Adventure. So I just wanted to share a few updates that have happened recently on the Amstrad CPC. The first one being Mario. I'm not sure what the big N will think of this, but what the eye doesn't see, the heart can't grieve about. It's actually a really good game. I loved the arcade original, but I wish they'd have included the Super Mario music. That would have been terrific. So I've played this one for hours and absolutely love it. Fully recommended. If there's to be an update, let's add Princess Peach, Daisy and Bowser. In my humble personal opinion, this was one of the best games on the Amstrad CPC. Some clever sod has updated it, so now Arthur loses his armor. That not only makes it infinitely more playable, but it puts it now up there officially in the higher echelons of the best Amstrad CPC games of all time. I kid you not, you need to check this out. And thank you so much to the clever sod that's kept me up all night. Sly Spy was one of my favourite games in the arcade and I quite liked the Amstrad CPC arcade conversion but get this, it didn't have any sound or any music now it's been updated and it's got the juice and lot I love all these clever sods that are bringing new life to these old games what I want to know next is who is the next Amstrad hero that's going to fix Outrun for the Amstrad CPC you will be forever immortalized. I just wanted to show people this new Tetris game from 4 MHz, just in case it escaped under your radar. This is one of the best I've played. It doesn't look it, but it's highly accurate. And as the game speeds up, the CPU copes really well. Tetris is like a good chess game. You've got to have one in your collection. And right now, this is definitely my favorite. I love the backgrounds because they change, and I especially love the tempo of the music. Drum roll, here it is, Booty the Remake. What a game. Ahoy me hearty, gather round ye scallywags. Arr, the nostalgia. Shiver me timbers, she's number one. What a great game. And if you like this video, please subscribe, please also share, Please leave a comment as well, let me know your thoughts. Don't forget you can follow us on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram and Twitter, or should I say X. The Amstrad CPC community has never been so alive. In some ways it's better now owning an Amstrad and playing these games than it was back in the day. Do you actually play these games? And if so, what is your favourite game since the commercial decline of the CPC? I've really enjoyed making this video and playing these games. Now the hard work begins because I've got to come up with another idea for a new video. The Amstrad today is a bit like tomorrow's world. And until next time, ta a bit. <laughs>